Hello everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be teaching you how to get your very own 24-hour Minecraft server using Apex Minecraft hosting. We've compared and looked at every single person in the industry and Apex Minecraft hosting comes out to be the top each and every time. They're the best of the best Minecraft hosting company out there. So we're going to be using them to get our 24-hour server. First thing we want to do is go to their website which is first link down below and once you're here you can read over what they all have. They're officially Technic partnered, which means Technic the mod launcher uses them for their servers and they work with them. DDoS protection, all of that stuff. But when you decide you're ready to buy, go ahead and click view plans. From here, simply choose the server that's best for you. Now, there are two things here that I want to mention. One is how many players the server has available. For example, a grass server, the bottom server, has 10 slots available, but it's only available for vanilla, and that's the second thing. So you need to decide how many players you want on your server, and two, you need to decide what kind of version you want to run. For example, if you want to run Bucket with like one or two plugins, Stone's probably going to be for you. If you want to run Bucket with like seven or eight plugins, you are probably want to step it up to Iron. But if you do need any assistance in choosing your server, just click down here in the very bottom right and contact their support and they'll be able to help you out. But for me, I think Stone is going to be the best option. So if we click order now, we can then see what it is, $7.99 per month. We can choose our server location, which is going to be whatever's closest to us. For example, the west side of North America, the east side of North America, Europe, or South America. For uh, me, it's east side of North America. Server name, you can make it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. For us, we just want Minecraft standard, just the vanilla Minecraft. Minecraft 1.11, basically, is what that is. Premium support, you can get that if you want. We don't need it here. And our Minecraft username. So our Minecraft username is games. Our adoptional or optional subdomain is going to be breakdown.apexmc.co. And then we can go ahead and click add to cart. It'll take us here. We can go ahead and click check out and enter your information to check out and officially get your server. Once you've made your purchase, either through PayPal or via your credit card, you'll be taken here where you can basically see everything you need to know to get started. Luckily though, I will walk you through pretty much everything in this. However, if you do have any issues or whatever, come back to this page. This is the best page uh, for getting help as far as your server goes. Lucky for you, it's linked as the second link down below. That way you can come here and really see what needs to be done if you do have any issues. But let's go ahead and uh, log in to Multicraft. Now you might be saying, what? What about all of this stuff? Well, we can get to this later. Right now, let's go ahead, log into Multicra Multicraft Control Panel, and what we're actually going to use is something that Apex has emailed us. So if we go log into our email, we'll be able to uh, get the information. So you'll have two emails, right? One called your new Minecraft server information, and one called your order confirmation. This one is basically your receipt. I mean, it is your receipt pretty much. Now, this one over here is all of the information you need for your server, like your server IP address, which is this whole entire number, including this part at the back end of it. It includes all of your billing login information, your cPanel information, everything, your FTP details, it's all here in this email. So let's go ahead and log into the cPanel with the username we have right here. So we come over here, and by the way, if you want to go try to log in with this, it won't work. I'll be changing the password after the tutorial. But if we go over here and log in, it'll then log us into the back end of our server, and a lot's going on, but it's not really. It tells you the time and date, tells you all of the other stuff here, like you, their free giveaways that Apex occasionally does is YouTube, partners, tweets, all that stuff is here. But truthfully, what we want to focus on is this button up here. Go to my server. This is your server, right? This is the server you just set up. As you can see, you can stop it, right? Which turns it off, meaning if anyone was on it, they'd be kicked off and it would say this server has been closed. And then once you've stopped it, you can then restart it, right? Start it back that way, or just click the start button to start it back. You can change the name of the server. You can change what version it's running. As you can see by default, it's running Minecraft 1.11, but you can come down here and you can switch it to, for example, a ton of mod packs, like say you wanted to run Crash Landing or Crazy Craft, you could just click that to do that. But we're just gonna keep this on vanilla for now, vanilla 1.11. You can go into advanced settings, go through all of that if you want. For example, 
you know, how much kick delay you have until someone's kicked, all that, auto-saving, you want it on or off, keep, keep auto-saving on. I really don't understand why you would turn it off unless you were maybe running a mini-game and it was auto-resetting. You can change what role your people on your server have. If people have, like, moderator off the start, don't do that unless you want some crazy stuff to go down. And what the cheat role is, which means if you give someone, like, an op, what exactly it does to them. But anyway, let's go ahead and click save on that. And let's join the server. Our IP is right here. Our server is started, right? Meaning starts grayed out. That means it's working. If stops grayed out and you can click on start, it's not working. Let's go ahead, open up Minecraft 1.11 and join in. And you now have a 24-hour server. It's set up. It's running. It's good to go. Your friends, just give them this IP address and they'll be able to join in. It is a super easy process, as it should be for a product or service like this. So we go into multiplayer here. I'm going to add a server real quick. Boom. Done. And then we can just, right there, it's online. We can just click on it and we'll join in. One of the cool things that we'll also see is in the back back here. See this spike up? That means I've joined the server. It's using more resources now because someone's actually playing on it. Something else that's really cool is you can come over here to the Players tab, and there I am. I'm actually playing the game, right? It can show me I'm in the game. It also shows you the IP address of everyone on your server, but uh, for you guys, that's just blurred out. So, if we come over here, we can play in the game, we can run around, and I'll actually have uh, my business partner, who's sitting right over there, um, join into this server real quick, too, so you can truly see that this is a server that's up and running, 24-hour server, that uh, anyone can really uh, play on. Spawn us in a village, kind of cool. So, Patrick is in the game, as you can see, we're, we're battling the spider, I've actually died in between jump cuts there, but there he is, Patrick's in the game, playing on a 24-hour server from Apex Minecraft Hosting. That's pretty much all you need to know. I do want to mention that you can opt players and do things like that from this server back in here, so if we go up to the top and click on your username servers, and then we come over here to where it says console, this is basically your overall super place to opt people and do all that stuff. So for example, so you want to opt Patrick, which is not going to be a smart move to do. We can just type opt and then his username, which is Patrick Fassler. And uh, now he's probably going to kill me in the game with just slash kill. But anyway, there you have it. That is uh, how to set up a 24-hour Minecraft server. Quick and easy. And, and he's, not, he's not slash killed me yet, which is... I'm just say there it goes. There it goes. And it's probably just going to keep happening every time I respawn now. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the breakdown if you haven't already. We make awesome videos every single day of the week. This has been How to Get a 24-Hour Minecraft Server. I am out, guys. Peace.